Valery Tarasi y Yassan Albawab llegaron a las albercas de París por una causa que va mucho más allá que buscar una medalla. Ellos quieren nadar para poner la bandera de Palestina en todo lo alto, que el mundo la vea y darle visibilidad a un pueblo lastimado. And so we're here, you know, um, to, to say, we are, we are also a part of the world, we are also humans, like everybody else, and we like to play sport. And so sports is a fantastic way because it's equal for everybody. Everybody has to follow the same rules. And so for, for me, it's, it's a complete honor to, to be able to be a voice and show my cause, my Palestinian cause through sports. That's it. A unos días de participar en los Juegos Olímpicos, ambos atletas palestinos señalan en entrevista el orgullo que sienten por darle dignidad a su sangre y a sus raíces. My grandfather was born and raised in Gaza. My family has been in Gaza since 400, and my family has had a house in Gaza since 1755, and it gets passed through the mails. My brother is the only one with the rights to that house, and unfortunately, it's right outside of Rafa. So to be able to represent Palestine, especially during this time, It is truly an honor. Um, it is a privilege that we have. I say that I am one of the luckiest Palestinians in the world because I'm able to swim and be here and be safe and live in the United States. But I'm also one of the unluckiest Palestinians in the world because I can't even live in my own country. La pasión de Shine Alice por los deportes es tan profunda como su amor por su país. Como jinete palestina que ahora reside en Europa, se dedica a entrenar mientras apoya activamente a los atletas de Medio Oriente. A pesar de los desafíos, aprecia las relaciones duraderas que han surgido. I think that this has been the toughest year of my life in the sense of staying motivated and staying motivated to train. Um, but I feel at the same time it's brought my connection to Palestine and to Palestinian friends, family, other athletes, it's brought me so much closer. I uh, really, I, I think that uh, the best way to describe it is I've lost a lot of people in my life this year uh, in Palestine, but also I've lost a lot of friends outside of Palestine because of their disagreements uh, with my stance on everything. And I think that's a really beautiful thing because it starts to narrow down who should be in your life and the people who really were still there for me. En la Franja de Gaza, desde el 7 de octubre del año pasado, han muerto cerca de 35 mil personas, de acuerdo con cifras oficiales. We truly believe sport is a human right that everyone should have the ability to do. So we want people young Palestinians around the world to see us and want to be like us, want to go out, want to be active.